Hi, and welcome back to Pretty Creative Stuff. Today I'm here with my daughter, Molly, and I'm gonna show you how to take her super long hair and put it in a ballet bun. She takes ballet, she takes lots of dance classes, but ballet class, it's pretty strict. You have to have the hair in a ballet bun, not just a braid or a ponytail. So- and we're gonna do a cinnamon roll bun. We're gonna do a cinnamon roll bun, that's true. I know I've gotten a lot quicker at doing ballet buns in a little over a year since Molly started taking dance classes and I thought that what I've learned would be helpful to share with you. Some of these tips I learned from other dance moms. So hopefully this is helpful if you're new to ballet buns, if you have a daughter or if you yourself are taking ballet and you need to know how to get your hair together quickly and neatly for ballet class or even a recital. All right, that is not ballet hair. We need to get your hair looking ready for ballet class. <laughs> First, I'm gonna show you what I use to put her hair in a ballet bun. You need to gather your supplies. Okay, bobby pins are an absolute essential. And a bobby pin holder that's magnetic is really helpful too. That way you don't lose the bobby pins as much. One fell off. We actually have two of these, one that we keep in her bedroom and one that we keep downstairs, which is where I usually do her hair. Also, some sort of ponytail holder. These from Goody are good, as the name says. Um, this is a nice wide tooth comb so I can get through her hair pretty quickly. I also like a brush like this um, that, I don't know if it's called a paddle brush or what, I'm not up on my brush terms, but it helps me smooth out her hair. And then these three tools I don't use all the time, but I would use it if it was this a recital. One, this one is basically both of these, those one big one of these, and this one is a tiny one for kids like me. Yeah, so it this, has a tiny thing of this, and it has a tiny of this. This kind of is a two-in-one brush. If you were just going to bring one brush with you in your ballet bag, this would probably be a good one. Um, this, yeah, but still, these are This end too. can help smooth out the hair, and this one can also help with the hair now this like if you're going to do a recital or something this was actually recommended to me by another dance mom um to get the hair really smooth especially like at the edge of the hairline all right so let's get right to it and get that ballet bun started yeah because i have to go to dance class soon that's right okay so we are going to quickly comb her hair if i am really in a rush i We'll just do it kind of messy. With the bobby pins, you get a little bit of forgiveness. And we're gonna get this all back. But the first thing that we're doing is just putting the hair in a smooth as we can get it ponytail. Now mainly we wanna work on getting it smooth and a brush like this can help you smooth it out. I'm gonna grab one of these ponytail holders. So I just have like a ponytail, fairly smooth, it's not perfect, on the back of her head. Okay, so the next thing that you do after the hair is in the ponytail is you just twist it. So twist all the hair. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. And then we let it like loop back on itself, like this. Ow. Now, you don't have to have nearly as much hair as Molly to do a cinnamon roll bun. It's like called a cinnamon roll bun because you're twisting it like a cinnamon roll. So you'll have like layers, like this. So if you had that much hair, that would be a perfect bun right there. Molly has a lot of extra. So one thing that I do for Molly's hair, because it's so long, and this kind of helps it get a little bit shorter, is I like to braid it. You do not have to do this. This is just an extra step I do with her hair because it is extra long. And I also think it looks pretty. Um, if, your hair, if your hair is not as long as Molly's, you can skip the braiding step and just do the twisting step I showed you a minute ago. But I'm going to braid it. That makes the hair a little bit shorter and uh, makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm not even gonna hook the end. I just, I'm just braiding it. So then, instead of twisting it, I'm kind of twisting the braid around. I feel like the braid helps it stay in well as well. You want to try to get it as flat against the head as possible. Now, if this was a recital, I would not braid the hair. I would just twist the hair. I'll throw up a picture of Molly from her last recital. She had a beautiful recital dress. So you can see I have her hair um, braided, but it could just be twisted. Same thing. And you want to take a bobby pin, and I'm kind of getting some of the hair down here and some of the hair up here. My husband's the cameraman right now, and I'm hoping this shows him how to do a ballet bun too. And you just put it in. Now, see on a bobby pin how there's two sides and one is like bumpy? You want the bumpy side down. And one thing I like to do is cross the bobby pins over each other. So you see I have one right here and it's at an angle like this. I'm gonna take this one, do the same thing, get a little hair on the bottom, a little hair in the middle, and try to cross it so they're hooked together in her hair. And that should be pretty secure. 
but I am going to keep adding bobby pins. Now, if you don't braid it, it's just gonna be in that twist and you're gonna do the exact same thing, pinning down the twist. You don't wanna have too much or the bobby pin's gonna slip out, but you wanna have enough that it's going to stick. So you can see kind of crossing it over there and I'm gonna keep pinning it. Now, if you are going to a ballet class, you don't have to worry about it being perfect. You just wanna get that bun up there as neatly as possible. And if you are going to a recital, you're gonna be more concerned about being perfect and you might wanna take something like this, go around the edge and really try to smooth it back. Now, you know how I said this isn't perfectly smooth? One thing you can do with the bobby pins, you can use the bobby pins to help make it smooth. Like see how this isn't perfectly smooth right here? I could take something like this and make sure I get it really smooth back and then I can pin it. So bobby pins really, really can help help make it neater. See how like that's a much smoother now. Now for ballet class, I'm not worrying about that too much, but for a recital, you wanna try to get it as perfect as possible. Okay, so once again, I'm going around and I'm just doing the bobby pins like I showed you before, and I'm crossing them over each other all the way. And then I have this hair on top, I'm gonna pin that. Molly's bun is a little bit higher than it should be right now, but she has a lot of hair. And like I said, this is ballet class. It is not a recital. It does not have to be the best bun in the world. You just need to get it up there. So once I get to the final layer, like I said, her hair is extra long. So it wraps around a couple times. Your hair most likely is not as long as Molly's and will just wrap around once and that is fine. Um, and makes it a little bit quicker. But you can use bobby pins to try to get it as perfect as possible. And I've kind of come to the conclusion that there's no such thing as too many bobby pins. If in doubt, just keep pinning. And as opposed to like Dory with just keep swimming, just keep pinning, pinning, pinning. It's probably fine, I could stop right now, but I am going to add a couple more just to make sure. Can you put like a colorful scrunchie? Yeah, let's do a colorful scrunchie. I'm gonna, this is sticking up a little bit more than I'd like, so I'm just gonna do a bobby pin just to <laughs> stick that in there. Okay, so here, here we go. I think that looks pretty good. You can see a ton of bobby pins in there, but we're gonna finish it off with a colorful scrunchie. Oh, Molly wants to show you how this brush works. So once again, if this were a recital or something, you wanna to try to get it as perfect as possible and you can see how that smooths it out really well. You can also finish it off with some hairspray. But for ballet class, don't worry about that. This is good. It does not have to be perfect, just pretty good. And then these scrunchies, I just think that like, furry scrunchies are so cute. We're gonna put one around her hair, kinda of hides the, the all the bobby pins and she's ready for ballet class. That looks much better. Your hair looks much better. I'm gonna create a dance class must-haves list on my Amazon storefront, and that will include uh, the brushes and the bobby pins and things that I showed you in this video. I will put that link in the description box. Be sure to check that out so you can get all set with your ballet must-haves. Have fun in ballet class. Thanks for watching Pretty Creative Stuff. Bye. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified about upcoming videos and tell me if this ballet bun tutorial was helpful for you. See you next time. Bye.